keep it a stack it is tuesday july 11th this is top 10 takes let's get to it at number 10 nba summer league alert although the Cavs dog walked the grizzlies 100 to 77 i kept my eye on one player in particular and that's imani bates as a second round pick he's easily the gem of the draft outside of cam whitmore falling to the rockets imani is just a hooper's hooper if you know you know he's a slight 6'9 and he's about a bucket although he needs to be a bit more efficient to thrive at the next level i feel he can crack the Cavs rotation this upcoming season when he was in high school i thought he was the next kobe on bro but his draft stock was devalued due to some physical limitations his wingspan is shorter than his height weird and some off the court drums that we won't get into but yesterday he had 21 4 and 1 and he cashed out five times from beyond the arc at 62 percent clip so get that efficiency for you Wish you the best, Lil Bro Imani. The Cavs play my Bulls on Thursday night. I'm looking forward to that. That game will be on ESPN2 at 3 p.m. Eastern Time at number 9. The billionaire boys are back at it. On Mark Zuckerberg's new hot platform threads, he recently replied with a crying laughing emoji to a thread from Wendy's that said, Hey Zuck, you should go to space. That'll make him mad. So of course, Elon had to clap back with a kind of crazy tweet stating, Zuck is a C-U-C. I'll let you fill in the rest. And then he said, I propose a literal sexual organ measuring contest i swear the pettiness is unrivaled they should start a group called the petty shop boys on my soul like these dudes have over a quarter trillion dollars combined and they're throwing subs at each other on social media well elon was on new york joe rapper time he put a name on it gangster i mean i get the hostility twitter traffic is plummeting and the shareholders are getting nervous but it's like chill bro you guys have god king money just enjoy life but what do i know i still wait for uber price surging to fall before I summon a car. Threads is on fire. It has surpassed chat GPT in growth reaching 100 million users in just five days. At number eight, Twisted Metal, the Sony PlayStation vehicular combat video game that released in the 90s and had great success for about 20 years is now getting adapted into get this a television series who would have knew no but in all seriousness this was a groundbreaking video game and i'm eager to see how this translates the walking dead exceeded my expectations so perhaps this will too the peacock original has placed first time showrunner michael jonathan smith at the helm he's known for his work on cobra kai and it's starring captain america himself anthony mackie the log line according to imdb is twisted metal follows a motor mouth outsider offered a chance at a better life but only if he can successfully deliver a mysterious package across a post-apocalyptic wasteland. I'm not gonna hold you. This is my type of show. Mention post-apocalyptic, I'm sold. The trailer released yesterday and it is high octane. Pun definitely intended. The series releases July 27th on Peacock. At number seven, Apple is reportedly scaling back production plans of its 35 Hundo Vision Pro mixed reality headset. Turns out it's pretty tough to build a state-of-the-art piece of technology. Huh. As reported by Financial Times, these production issues have also been said to have pushed back the plans for a cheaper version of the Apple Vision Pro, which obviously would be welcome to many because that 35 Hundo was, was kind of steep. But as to the production changes, sources from Apple and Luxshare, the Chinese contract manufacturer that will be the first to assemble the Apple Vision Pro have said that they expect to make less than 400,000 units in 2024. It is also important to note that Luxshare appears to be the only company that will initially be assembling the headset. Two other sources from China-based suppliers of specific components of the Apple Vision Pro reveal Apple was only asking for enough parts to build 130,000 to 150,000 units in 2024. Damn, looks like the sacrifice of my firstborn will have to wait a while. I'm joking, guys but i'm not at number six okay chat so at what point do we call usher the villain dude has been on demon timing as of late just terrorizing his latest two victims happen to be the beautiful rapper saweetie who's linked up with yg so if i was ursher i tread lightly and winnie harlow as usher serenaded saweetie she looked into it but not kiki palmer into it winnie harlow used the best defensive tactic i've seen yet by jumping on her boy kyle kuzma's lap as he approached the supermodel it's crazy the boondocks literally has an episode on this now we're all familiar with the catalyst that started this recent trend kiki dancing with usher and her baby daddy posting a tweet saying you a mother though well kiki got her yonce on and made lemonade of the situation selling merchandise that says you guessed it i'm a mother that are selling for 50 cash way to capitalize on a situation miss palmer and as for you usher let dudes live but i will say gotta be devil's advocate don't 
don't bring your girl to a Usher show. She's going to get chose. <laughs> At number five. Random objects have an astounding 7-0 lead against celebrities performing. BB Rexa, Ava Max, well, well, Ava was slapped, so let's make it 6-0. Little Nas X, Pink, and now Harry Styles and Drake. Harry looks like he got thoinked pretty hard at his show in Vienna a couple of days ago. Video footage posted on social media by concert goers shows that as it was single walking on the stage as an object hits him dead in the eye during his Love on Tour concert. The boy himself, Drake, was also hit in the leg with the cell phone but seemed pretty in phase. But when other projectiles hit the stage, he had to address the Detroit crowd. I want to see a big ass shoe. This is what I need you to do, Detroit. This is what I need you to do, please, for me. Um, I'm so grateful that you got here this building with you after all this time that we had to sit in the crib, right? Please stop throwing bras up here. I can't, I, I feel like I'm on cleanup duty tonight. Kitty, clean up, this is crazy. That boy Drizzy, wow. At number four, Jenna Ortega, the 20-year-old Cali girl who has had a meteoric rise in popularity due to the success of Netflix series Wednesday, is back applying pressure. Put a ribbon on her. She is acting brand new. Chat, remember when it was reported that Jenna Ortega would appear in Beetlejuice 2? Well, not only has that been confirmed, but the first pic of her has finally emerged. Photographers caught Jenna on set last week as she filmed in Hurt Hertfordshire, England. The actor was pictured in a white dress with streaks of pink and matching white boots, suggesting she may have been shooting a wedding scene, but who knows? But what we do know is that Michael Keaton and Winona Ryder are back as their iconic characters, Beetlejuice and Lydia Dietz from the first film. Jenna is supposedly playing Lydia's daughter. Take my money now. I love the original and Jenna Ortega is Jenna Ortega. You know what I'm saying? The release date is September 6th, 2024. Tim Burton, let's get to it at number three. The boy Burner Boy is on fire, pun intended. If you're not familiar, let me put you on. Buddy is a Nigerian international superstar. Look, I don't want any smoke with the beehive, but Nigerian press indicates that Burner has beaten our mother Beyonce to sell out his tickets for their tours in the Netherlands. This weekend, Burner made history as City Fail by becoming the first African artist to sell out a U.S. stadium after being the first to headline the garden and gifted the crowd with an unreleased banger listen to it here first sounds like a banger at number two jamie fox it's so good to see buddy back outside literally and figuratively the five-star talent has been mia after a mysterious illness of course the culture is saying he was cloned and it doesn't help that he's starring in the netflix flick they clone tyrone but i digress sunday the academy award winner was seen living his best life on a boat in the shy waving to fans and he looks in great shape like buddy looks as if he hasn't missed the beat but yesterday morning fox took the to twitter for the first time since his hospitalization and said boat life celebrating summer with at brown sugar bbn stay blessed and stay blessed we will he was even seen at top golf getting his tiger woods on and when i say tiger woods i mean golfing guys not the extracurricular activity stop it but today jamie somehow found this random lady's purse and returned it to her yeah i, I know it sounds bizarre but here it is thank you jamie Bizarre. At number one, the A-listers were out and about at the Barbie premiere pink carpet for the Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling flick arriving in theaters on July 21st. No bap, I might just check it out. Margot Robbie looks super stunning in a black sequin dress iced out. Ryan Gosling, soup immaculate. Can't hate on that. Miss Barb's herself, Nicki Minaj, was very Nicki minaj with the long blonde inches. Dua Lipa was just Dua Lipa. A uh, Haim came looking like a group, but they are a group. But I, I, yeah, I don't know. Issa Rae looked stunning in like this pink velvet type of thing. And uh, everybody was really killing it. Billie Eilish, she had on a tie and like she took like the dude route approach. But everyone looked phenomenal. Um, I don't know where my invite to the pink carpet is. Some things, I got to check my Gmail. I think I have too much storage, but it is what it is. And that's top 10 takes. See you manana.